Hello, I'm Fran Will Susan. I'm the Director of Environmental Protection at the Northwest Indian Fisheries Commission. I work with the 20 Western Washington Treaty Tribes who depend on the Salish Sea for their treaty rights and their lifeways. The Salish Sea is a remarkable place and has been stewarded by indigenous people for thousands and thousands of years. It now supports nine million of us and with changing climate, increased population, it's more threatened than ever before. The issues we're going to be talking about over the course of this conference are important to our understanding and our collective work moving forward. One of the things about the Salish Sea Ecosystem Conference is it is a transboundary conference. It includes Canadian waters, U.S. waters, tribal waters, state waters, many jurisdictions, and that complicates the management and care of the place. One of the wonderful things about this conference is that all of us, whether we're students, scientists, policy makers, decision makers, artists, all of us come together and talk about this place that we all care about. With that, as one of the co-chairs of this year's Sailor Sea Ecosystem Conference, I want to welcome you and thank you for your participation. The Sailor Sea Ecosystem Conference highlights how traditional knowledge, science, and research can work together to influence public policy. By bringing people like you and me together to listen, learn, and share, we've created a space for creativity and innovation to tackle the challenges of transboundary collaboration. We first gathered together in 1988 when we recognized the challenges of caring for this region and the importance of these waters to local communities. Fifteen years later, the Biennial Conference was born. Today, we gather with a vision of healthy ecosystem and resilient communities, but we recognize that the pathway is neither straightforward nor is it equitable. Social justice is integral to marine conservation because social inequities and systemic racism are amplified by habitat loss and climate change. By creating multiple ways of knowing and breaking down silos, we can come together across borders to find solutions to what threatens this region and build healthy communities. Hi, I'm Julie Watson, Killer Whale Policy Lead at the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife, and I'm speaking to you today from Bud Inlet at the southernmost point in the Salish Sea. Welcome to this digital space. We're so glad that you're here. Over the next three days, you'll have access to more than 200 presentations from indigenous knowledge keepers, scientists, and policy experts about everything from climate science to stormwater management to ethics in southern resident killer whale recovery. In addition to talks, you can join poster sessions, enjoy our online film festival, and check out shorter snapshot talks, which are available anytime. Though we can't meet in person at this year's conference, you can join in-person local meetups and connect online at the conference's networking events. And please, help us raise awareness about transboundary marine issues. Connect with us on social media by using hashtag SSCC2022, hashtag Salish Sea, hashtag Ocean Decade, and be sure to tag at Salish Sea Eco. Osiam tsitsiab tsitsiaiaia, zadzlak tsitsta ati ilsta hobshad, ati tualti do flailap atsaltabiu. Hoitikwitsid ati as sastheokchath ati yayus, ati as yatyalabchath, ati as lokchath. Greetings, my friends and relatives. My name is Zadzalak. My English name is Cecilia Gobin and I am one of this year's 2022 conference co-chairs. I wanted to welcome you all to this space and to express my gratitude and excitement for your participation in the next few days. I also wanted to thank each of you for gathering to uphold, to uphold one another in this work that we do together and to offer some reflections on this year's conference theme, honoring our ancestors visions for the future generations and the Salish Sea. This year's theme is important because it encourages all of us to make space in our work for the teachings and wisdom of our elders and our ancestors. It also ensures that each of us are carrying forward those values that they have instilled in us and that we're living up to the responsibilities bestowed on us to protect and restore this place that we call home. To protect the Salish Sea not only for today, 
but for future generations and all those to come. Once again, thank you for your participation, and we look forward to your contributions and conversations over the next few days. Thank you.